Hi YouTube, Fuzz here, and just a quick video today actually, I'm going to show you how to use the drop dash function of Sonic Mania, which is a new move that we now have in the game, which is that, so you can come out of a jump straight into a spin dash, and at the end I'm going to show you a little bit of a bonus in some other abilities that you can unlock as well. So basically, I'm making this video because believe it or not, there have actually been quite a few people messaging me and asking me how to do this. And it did actually take me about a minute or so uh, once I first played the game to figure out how to actually get this move done because it's not really clearly laid out or explained. So obviously it has to do with uh, pressing the jump button because you need to actually be in the air to execute this manoeuvre. And then while you're in the air, you just want to press the jump button again. But you don't just want to press it, you want to hold it down. Simply tapping it or just pressing it doesn't do anything. But if you hold it while you're in the air, then you'll execute this drop dash manoeuvre. And that's really all there is to it. It's not the fastest manoeuvre in the game. It's a shame that you can't really get some speed going like you can with the speed dash. I understand that they want the two abilities to be succinct and separate, which is probably why. But it does have its uses. You know, it, it's not something I've really been using a lot. If you've been watching my playthrough, you'll know that I haven't really got used to this ability yet. But other people have. So that's pretty much how you use it anyway. And yeah, like I say, it's got its uses. So let me know in the comments if you're going to be using this a lot in your playthrough. And what you think about this drop dash move as an addition to Sonic's repertoire of current moves. Is it just a gimmick? Or is it actually a useful ability? And are you going to miss it when you play older Sonic games again? Where it is a present. A bit like when you play Sonic 1 and the spin dash isn't present. But the drop dash ability isn't the only move you can use in Sonic Mania. You can actually use a few others from the older games as well. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. If we quit out of this. You can actually unlock some of the older moves from Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, from the older Sonic the Hedgehog games. But you can only use them in the no save mode, unfortunately. unfortunately. What you do is go to secrets. And you have to excuse me, I've been having a hay fever attack today, so I've been sneezing quite a bit just before I started recording. So hopefully you can make out what I'm saying. Uh, anyway, you can see the Sonic ability here, and it's currently set to Mania. So you can change it to CD. We'll have a look at that. So basically this move then, the Sonic CD move, was made available in that game, I assume, so that you could go ahead and uh, traverse the time to the past, the present, or the future. And it can also be an instant death move. It's basically the spin dash, but without the actual spinning component. So it's just the dash, I guess. So that's pretty much the Sonic CD spin uh, move. And you can't use the Sonic Mania move when you're using any of these other abilities. So at the moment, we've got the Sonic CD move selected. That's what we can use. And it is quite fast. But just be careful, of course, because running into things is obviously going to be a painful experience. I'm not sure exactly what use this would have in Sonic Mania. Seeing as how you don't need that initial speed to uh, hit the, you know, different time zones or whatever the case may be. And... Well, I didn't realise that Tails got tired so quickly. Uh, I've just actually learned myself that Tails can pick you up. I knew he could in Sonic 3. Or Sonic 2, I can't remember which one. No, Sonic 3, wasn't it? You used to press the, one of the buttons while you was in the air. And he'd pick you up. But he doesn't do that in Sonic Mania. But then he did do it, so I'm not sure how. Uh, anyway, let's look at the other ability. So the Sonic 3 and Knuckles ability is the Insta Shield. And again, you just press the attack button while you are in mid-jump. And what this does basically... It, in a nutshell, it's most obvious use is that it allows you to not take damage from enemy projectiles And that's pretty much the only use for it. Let's see if I could demonstrate it maybe on this crab thing here if it'll fire something at us Okay, I'll try that again, and it's a bit closer Ah, oh, no, it didn't work. The timing has got to be absolutely precise on this thing. Maybe we'll try on one of these things <laughs> See what I mean about the timing You can actually get these projectiles to pass straight through you if you time this correctly here. Ah, I saw that then at the last second. But you've really got to practice with it. I hardly ever use it at all in Sonic 3, to tell you the truth. You can actually use it to collect things as well. Without touching them, but you're going to have to still get pretty close. Now, the thing with the Insta Shield is you can't use it with other shields. So if you actually collect 
um, you know, your standard other shields, then it's tough. Let's see if we can do it on this one. This guy here can spawn. Ah, oh, messed it up again. Well, that's pretty much what the Insta Shield does. I'm just terrible at using it. But anyway, guys, that's what I wanted to show you. So for the standard Sonic Mania stuff that you're going to be playing, you know, on a save file, you're going to be using the Drop Dash ability, which is brand new to the game, and these other abilities. And really just Easter eggs from the older 16-bit era. You're not going to be using them in your main game because you can't, quite frankly. But thanks for stopping by and joining me today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching. And do come back and join me again soon. I'm sure we'll be doing some more Sonic Mania content as well, since people seem to be liking it. And I actually enjoy playing this game because I love a bit of Sonic, do I? So thanks again, guys, for stopping by. See you soon. Goodbye.